Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. So, um, we got our pill. Let's call it a day and get some rest. Good night, me. You did well today. Chapter 1 and welcome to White Society. Mm, man. Also, Chapter 1. How many chapters does this have? Hi, Aiden. Aiden. Good morning, dear. Oh, hi. Aiden, you're back. What are you up to? Ah, uh, just finishing a new headpiece. Want to try it on? Of course. He gives me that and he was holding. It was my own scalp. Soon in ha into a hat. Here, let me help you put it on. Henry. Hey, Henry. Are you okay? Do I look like I am? Not really. Here, a tissue. White society special. Hey, Lotte. What's so funny? You're smiling. Hmm? <laughs> am I? I'm just amused by the whole situation. It's just plain hilarious. Oh, hi, Bennett. Um, but... Hi. Hi. What the fish was that? Okay. Still the trials. 681. What? 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 Blood is swarming with parasites. Tiny, invisible, tenacious. Once they outwit your immune system, they eat you from the inside. Use you as an incubator for the offspring. Control your mind and alter your personality. They keep reproducing, reproducing, and reproducing. Endlessly reproducing until every single person is consumed by the disease. Time to teach our princess some manners. Who do you think you are letting your hair grow this long? The bullies bring out the scissors. A lock of hair falls down. And another one, and another, and another. I want to do something, anything. But all I do is avert my eyes. And think, thank God it's not me. Because I am. Hey, stop spacing out. Henry's voice is a harsh whisper. Ah. Sorry, I got distracted. Jeez, did you take the photos? Let's get out of here before they notice us. The girl acting all conspiracy, the conspiratory, is Henry at the Warhol. Henry, she insists. Her nails stick into my sleeves. Wait, what? Wait, what? Nervous. She doesn't really want to be here. What are we doing here in the first place? Ah, that's right. We're collecting blackmail on these girls using Henry's phone for a chance to frame them later. Was my lady collecting recipes on people she'll go shopping with the very next day? Classic Henry. Getting a hold on these kinds of things makes her feel safer, she says. Just like carrying a box cutter that she'll never use to save her life. And she'll never show this footage to the teachers. Well, of course, she has an image to maintain. Never a single hair stand out of place. Her attire perfectly ironed and manicure, neatly done. Fake. I snap another photo and hand the photo back to Arnry. It's time to leave. The bullied one is squirming, crying pitifully. Crying for help. Arnry catches my sleeves on the ladder two floors above. Maybe we should call a teacher? The lessons have long since ended. I doubt anyone's around. 
I see. I took her hand in, in mine. It's our ritual for comforting, comforting each other. We are no heroes. I've been a class ghost ever since elementary. Henry was bullied in middle school. We started talking after I found her locked in the boys' changing room. Half dressed, crying pitiful in the corner. I gave her my track pants and she not knowing how to deal with this display of compassion. Oh, made sure to call me names and write insults on the class blackboard until the end of the year. I can't remember when we actually started to get along. It must have begun somewhere around the time she accidentally discovered my drawings. And right now, there's nothing we can do. We're terrified. Same here. And that's why we take the emergency stairs and run, run, run. Till we're out of breath. Until we've reached Henri's home. Till we're locked in our private boxes called houses. Still, the image of the beaten up, humiliated girl, surrounded by monstrosities, won't go away. One wrong step, and it could have been us. Brought onto the concrete floor. Defenseless. The parasites would keep. Laughing, laughing, laughing. Contagious smile dripping from their mouths. What? A day before? What? 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 Excuse me, what the fish is happening? Charles, wait, what? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by DA. Physics of the Fifth and Time Machine. News a few sets of clothes inside. Three black t shirts, two tall necks in the pullover. All neatly folded and arranged by color. Also, of me and my pet, he died a while ago. It's all her fault. New message from Henri. Ah! Henri? Someone were to ask us what kind of relationship we have, both of us would have said we are dating. Our relationship is far from romantic. The most intimidated thing we did was when Henri held my hand during a panic attack anyway. The whole ordeal wasn't my idea to begin with. Henri who's obsessed with the idea of normalcy or the sem semblance of it, which would be more accurate in her case. I can talk. He suggested it almost too casually, as if dating someone was a, a point to cross off her bucket list, as if she knew it would go with the flu. So I did. I love you f for sure. Stop leaving me on red. Oh. Uh oh, she's angry. Let's write something. Hey! Wait, wait, what, 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 what? Hey, you do the same. Don't come here out on this. And for fish sake, stop using this icon and username. I'm not role playing with you. No pulling. I hate you. Do you know how many people would kill for having matching icons with C himself? No, and I don't care. Anyhow, we're going on a date. Can today, busy. Oh my god, are you writing yourself insert fic again? Hey, the MC is not technically a self-insert. I don't know. Okay, I take it back. It's just a gentleman C. Oh, uh, why? What? I still have the right to be offended. And what's up with the amount of gore? He's running is very sophisticated, but what you're making is a uh, basic guru enthusiast. Looks on you, I have 900 kudos. Those don't mean sh f crap. That's fair, alright? So, are we going in or not? Nah. You just want free food. And I have a search of inspiration. What will we? I'm coming away and eating your chips. 
I'm looking, logging the door. Oh, about time. Evening. I've read the article you sent the other day. Also. I'm just talking if this is a, a... Is this link accurate? Okay, no, it's not accurate. It's just... It's just... Good evening. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm busy outlining the script for the new story installment right now. Aww. Doing good God's work. Good luck with your script. I'm sure it'll be divine. Thank you for understanding. You submitted illustrations for the new chapter. Were wonderful. Oh, stop it. It's the least I can do for you. Your writing is amazing. No, seriously. The designs are wonderful, especially the ones for White Queen and Xenon. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Someone puts a hand on my shoulder. I feel my stomach stomach turn. Procrastinating again. Ah, got it, Eiler. My unburned sister. What? The perfect girl is soaked in moon blood. The one whom father told mom to kill. The one whose death caused her mental breakdown. The reason for all of my misfortunes. Hey, you received 89 points on your test. Do you know what that means? Of course I do. Galadada has been punishing me for my existence ever since I was born. You didn't wash your hands well enough. Drop them for 10 minutes straight. Try to get a perfect on the test. Bang your hand on the wall until I ble it ble- What the f- I didn't follow the schedule. Hurt yourself with a scar. I didn't clean your room. Eat your pet junk. Okay. Also you ate too much. You should starve yourself for three days. Trying to do this hard for you, but you're never trying hard enough. You won't pass the trial like this. Is what you always say is giving me a stir. Look. Behind my back. That's all she ever talked about. About what the f according to Scarlet the day of the trial will be the day I die. I keep her away by drinking pills. I sold ten tablets, and Scarlet disappears. Oh, the girls inside are neatly folded. Looks like my mom has not. They got from us almost with obnoxious houses inside. Dark outside. I was going on the wall. Sometimes they fall off and I tape them back on. Mom says she's trying to lift up her motorcycle and I'm not throwing them away. Mom been taking more pills than she prescribed. Oh, oh no. Hello, Mom. Sleep well? Yeah. I will sleep well. Why don't we have a fancy dinner tomorrow? I can make your favorite dish. Lift up some money from freelance work. So you don't have to worry about the cost of the ingredients. I'm sorry, I don't feel like getting up. It's okay. I'll bring it to your room and we'll eat together, okay? Alright. Don't be too hard on yourself. I know you're trying your best. Right, mother. You're such a good girl. Looking right out at me. But all she sees is Scarlet Island. A child that never was. Uh, brain is weird. Jeez, there are needles marks on my hands. Eh. <laughs> All right, already. Charles, you're here. Hi, dear. Feeling comfortable? As if I was assaulted, drugged, and got stained in this ugly blue. Well, that's unfortunate. Don't link with me against my will. The symptoms I'm experiencing are definitely from drug overdose. I can barely move. I, I see you. You were out of it when I found you, so I made sure to watch over you, for you, over you. What a creep. This hurts my feelings. 
It wasn't you who did it, right, Mr. C? Me? Gods, no, never. Believe me, the last thing I want is to get inside your head. In the beginning, maybe right now. Yeah, indeed, yes. Good. Help me get up, will you? I don't feel my limbs. Sure, sure. Anything for you, Miss Wolfshire? Or it's locked. It's locked. I'll manage from here on. Not even a thank you. Go to hell. Well then, good night. Welcome home, Miss Wolfshire. Oh, Aiden, you're back. Carry me to bed. Anything you wish. I don't like what is this. What is this? Yay, Princess Carrie. Thank God we brainwashed them. What? Oh, yeah, right. Here we are. Thank you. Oh, by the way. Attendants have made you a hot drink. <gasps> Bring it to me. I could use some tea right now. Aiden leaves the room and returns with a small tray. Here we go, my lady. Thanks. Good night, Aiden. Sleep well, Miss Wolfshire. I drink the tea. Almost like my mission starts to blur. My insides are ache terrible. Terribly, it hurts. Hmm, nice green. All together, friends forever. Okay, there was the end of chapter two. Okay, understandable. What the fish? Huh? Miss Wolfshire, answer me truthfully. Do you think free will exists? What kind of question is that? If you're simply curious of my opinion, just get to the point. So straightforward, aren't you? Well, well. Let me start from afar. This world is swarming with parasites. Oh, not again. I need invisible tendon. That's just. Also, with your immune system, they eat you from the inside as you incubate for its offspring. Control your mind after all your personality. And if, it, if I said that everyone in the house hosted a parasite in their heads, what are you getting at? A parasite's goal is reproduction, right? Our parasite is no different. However, the house's inhabitants are only its intermediate hosts. Its final goal is to infect the people from the outside, the audience itself. Wait, what? Excuse me? That's why, using all of us, it creates a story. An impactful story that will carry over into the world behind the screen. Okay, we just go full full breaking in here. Okay, I didn't expect that. But not all stories leave a lasting impression. Oh, well, this definitely does. So they are created over and over again and again and again until, until there's a whole franchise. Oh, that's why there's additional games on. Until there's a combination of events and relationships that works. Until there's a story, they'll, they'll succeed in affecting the minds of the audience, who will, in return, create something of their own. Production for the sake of reproduction. Creation for the sake of recreation. This was Shire. If I told you this was the reality of our existence, what would you do? Marks on my hands, huh? Hand dark. The new body. Excess. Of course, the tea was poisoned. I knew it. But there's no way I'd recover this fast if I didn't die. I should go wash my face. Ah, the white reverse. Okay. I feel suddenly we should break something. I should have saved. <laughs> Ooh, now I feel a lot better. Now Ben won't have to waste time. 
and the seasons of mass-produced commercial garbage. I hate it, I just got the achievement nothing. Bathroom first, okay. Nothing happening in the library. <laughs> Bandit, are you dead? Go away, human maggot. What a meanie. I don't like those sounds also. Oh, don't tell me you're going through withdrawal syndrome. Leave me alone, don't you see? I'm <laughs> so disgusting. Weren't you supposed to be a comic relief character? Wait, what? Where did that go? Oh, I know. It's all because of the regular soap intakes, isn't it? Anyone can mani can be manically happy forever in their brain deaths, right? Wolfshire, last warning. Yeah, right. You hate me, but it doesn't really matter. You can't kill me anyway. No, but I can torture you and tear off your limbs. One by one. <laughs> oh no, Ben, it is so scary. Are those, are those the kinds of jobs you do for Dr. Huxley? Yet, he failed to raise a mindless killing machine out of you. Ben it is in front of me in a flash. A loud thud, my head gets slammed against the wall. I sat on the bathroom wall, leaving a trail of blood. <laughs> You really have no self-control when you're sober. This much shouldn't kill you. See? I was right. You're softer than you want to appear to be. Both sh When its form becomes blurry and I black out. Okay, what the fish? When I wake up, the room is dark. My head aches and my hands are sticky from red blood. I'm disgusting. There's someone else in the room. Charles? <laughs> Bingo! What are you doing here? Why is this? Why? 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 Looking after you? Then treat my wounds, asshat. That was the one. No can do. You're dirty and I'm squeamish. God, you're so useless. You can get Mr. Honecker to treat you. He won't. I replaced his favorite cereal with dried blood worms the other day. Uh, you did what? Forget it. I would not. I don't want to even imagine how this tastes. Ah, uh, I know insect are, insect are bug, bugs are actually good for it because they have a lot of protein. But as somebody who doesn't like insects at all, he's just like, mm, yeah, no, I don't even want to touch that thing. I don't want even to get touched by that thing. <sighs> Did you just do an Arara there? You never catch a break, huh? More importantly, how long do you plan to provoke the tenants for attention until they actually kill you? Uh, forever, probably. Or how long my life's been lasts? How old am I actually? Five. Actually, actually three. What? Oh, well, here we go. Miss Wolfshire. I'm sorry for lecturing you, but there's been too many spare vessels. The lesson might be greatly shortened if. Oh. You kill yourself with a toothbrush. Okay, I I want to ask how, like how you get. I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> a toothbrush is for cleaning your teeth and not for for, for cleaning your your brain to mess it up to it. <laughs> okay, I ah. Fish is with this music! Yes, look who's got a new body! I'm wider than ever before! What was I talking about? Alright, I'm gonna be late to school. This game is getting confusing by the minute. I, I don't even know what to even say.